assalamu alaikum in today's video we will discuss dot product or scalar product so multiplication of vector by a vector how do you multiply two vector together there is more than one way first one the scalar product or dot product and the second one the vector product or cross product so what is dot product the dot product is written using the sum total dot a dot b we can calculate the dot product of two vector a dot b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cos theta where a is the magnitude of vector a and b is the magnitude of vector b and theta is the angle between a dot a and b vector or we can calculate dot product in this way a dot b is equal to multiply the x component and the y components both method work and the result is a number is called scalar and we know it is not a vector for example calculate a dot b if vector a is equal to minus 6 8 and vector b is equal to 5 12 so to find a dot b is we have a dot b is equal to magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b vector multiplied by cos theta so the magnitude of a which is equal to 10 and the magnitude of b which is equal to 13 and the angle is given 59.5 degree so put the value we get the result a dot b is equal to 10 multiplied 13 multiplied cos theta where theta is equal to 59.5 degree so a dot b is equal to 10 multiplied 13 multiplied cos 59.5 degree which is equal to 0.5075 degree multiplying 10 multiplied 13 multiplied 0.5075 we get the result 65.98 or 66 or we can also calculate in this way a dot b is equal to multiplying the x component and the y component here x component is equal to minus 6 multiplied and bx component which is equal to 5 plus the y component is 8 multiplied 12 so 5 multiplied minus 6 which is equal to minus 30 plus 8 multiplied 12 which is equal to 96 so a dot b is equal to minus 30 plus 96 is equal to 66 look at the example calculate the dot product if vector a is equal to 12 9 and b is equal to minus 12 16 So a dot b is equal to magnitude of a vector multiplied by magnitude of b vector multiplied by cos theta. Here angle is equal to 90 degree. As we have a cos 90 degree which is equal to zero, so anything multiplied by zero which is equal to zero, so we get the result a dot b is equal to zero. Or we can also calculate in this way a dot b is equal to a x multiplied by x b x plus a y multiplied by b y. Or replace the value. so we get the result a dot b is equal to 0 so three or more dimension this all works fine in three or more dimension too and can actually be very useful let's suppose a is equal to 9 2 7 and b is equal to 4 8 10 if you find a dot b so multiplied the x component and the y component and z component so ax multiplied bx plus ay multiplied by plus az multiplied bz put the value so we get the result a dot b is equal to 36 plus 16 plus 70 which is equal to 122 look at the question if the angle between two vector whose magnitude are 14 and 7 is 60 find their scalar product let a and b are two vectors given that magnitude of a is equal to 14 and magnitude of b is equal to 7 and the angle theta which which is equal to 60 degree so by using the scalar product definition we have a dot b a vector multiple a, a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector cos theta put the value so 14 multiplied 7 multiplied cos 60 degree 
so a, a vector dot b vector which is equal to 49d the next question is find the cosine of the angle between the vector a and b where a is equal to i plus 2j minus k and b is equal to minus i plus j minus 2k is given that vector a and vector b is we have a dot b vector which is equal to magnitude of a vector multiplied by magnitude of b vector cos theta we have to find theta so cos theta is equal to a dot b vector divided by magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector if we find theta then theta is equal to cos inverse a dot b divided by magnitude of a and magnitude of b first we have to find a dot b so a vector multiplied b vector uh, is we have i, i dot i which is equal to 1 j dot j which is equal to 1 and k dot k is equal to 1 so a dot b is equal to minus 1 plus 2 plus 2 so a dot b is equal to 3 now we have to find magnitude of a 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square which is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 1 which is equal to uh, magnitude of a vector is equal to square root 6 now we have to find magnitude of b vector so we get the result square root 6 now put put the value so theta is equal to cos inverse 3 divided by magnitude of a which is equal to square root 6 and magnitude of b which is equal to square root 6 square root 6 multiplied square root 6 we uh, are square root square 6 square and square root they will be get cancel So theta is equal to cos inverse 3 by 6, 3 divided by 6, which is equal to 1 by 2. So theta is equal to 60 degree. Next question is: For what value of a if a and b are perpendicular? Given that vector a and b for perpendicular is we have a dot b which is equal to zero. So by using this condition, we can write uh, a dot b. which is equal to vector a a i minus 2j plus k dot 2 a i plus a j minus 4k which is equal to 0 now multiply the i component j component and k component so we can write 2 a square minus 2 a minus 4 is equal to 0 or uh, dividing both side by 2 uh, we get the result a square minus a minus 2 is equal to 0 now factorize after factorization we can write Uh, a minus 2 into a plus 1 is equal to 0 or a minus 2 is equal to 0 or a plus 1 is equal to 0 now a is equal to 2 or a is equal to minus 1 next question is determine the magnitude of a vector a is equal to 4i plus 3j plus 12k and also find the unit vector in the direction of a given vector a is equal to 4i plus 3j plus 12k now we have to find magnitude of a vector which is equal to 4 square on 3 square plus 12 square uh, we get the result magnitude of a is equal to 169 square root which is equal to 13 now according to definition of unit vector a unit vector is equal to a vector divided by magnitude of a so a vector which is equal to 4i plus 3j plus 12k and magnitude of a which is equal to 13 now a uh, a unit vector is equal to 4 by 13 i plus 3 by 13 j plus 12 by 13 k the next question is show that the vector a which is equal to 3 i minus 2 j plus k and vector b is equal to i minus 3 j plus 5 k and vector c is equal to 2 i plus j minus 4 k form a right angle triangle as we have three vector vector a vector b and vector c we have to prove that this three vector make of a right angle triangle or not so for right angle triangle we have to prove that a dot b is equal to 0 or b dot c is equal to 0 or c dot a is equal to 0 so first we have, we have to find a dot b if we find a dot b uh, then we get the result a dot b is equal to 14 now to find b dot c uh, so a dot b is not equal to 0 now we have to find b dot c so b dot c which is equal to minus 21 means b dot c not equal to 0 our uh, third one to prove that c dot a is equal to 0 now multiply c vector and a vector 
so we get the result c dot a is equal to 0 means vector c perpendicular to vector a so we have to prove that this three vector a vector b and vector c form a right angle triangle because a vector c dot and vector a which is equal to 0 now try to solve this question show that the vector a which is equal to 3i minus 2j plus k and vector b is equal to i minus 3j plus 5k and vector c is equal to 2i plus j minus 4k form a right angle triangle our next question is find the cosine of the angle between the vector a and b where vector a is equal to 3i plus 2j minus 6k and vector b is equal to 4i minus 3j plus k and the next question let a is equal to 2i minus j plus 3k and vector b is equal to 3i plus 2j minus k then find the magnitude of 3a vector plus 2b vector and second uh, a vector dot b vector 